is for India going forward. That's what Gautam Adani had to say. Now let's take it uh, to some important global updates now. In COP27, the 27th annual UN meeting on climate ended on Friday in Egypt's Sharm al-Sheikh. And Sonal Bhutra is joining us with all the key takeaways from this important summit. Tell us, Sonal. Nisha, thank you so much for that. Well, to be honest, it turned out to be, a no, to be a no event this time around. It went on for 10 days, but not many things which were decided at the end of this particular conference of parties. Uh, the only thing that was a big thing that was announced this time was that nations, they agreed to set up a loss and damage fund. And this was done in order to provide payouts to developing countries that have suffered from extreme weather conditions. And we did see a lot of them this year itself. And that's the reason this was the big takeaway this time. Uh, the deal text, that's the final deal text, that spoke about efforts to phase down use of coal. That was something that was discussed in COP26 as well. But additionally, they also spoke about phasing down usage of fossil fuels. While the text says that, this is not something that uh, nations across the globe agreed on. A lot of these countries went ahead and said that in the near future, fossil fuel usage will continue. And a lot of them spoke about how fossil fuels are an important part in terms of the daily uh, economy uh, functioning as well. COP26 uh, had agreed on the fact that rules should be made to allow for nations to trade carbon credits. It's been a year, but experts are of the opinion in COP27 that stronger rules are needed for carbon trading, and this is something that they should be working on. So COP27 was more about execution, less about planning, but looks like it turned out to be a no event because neither of the parameters were fulfilled, and the only thing, the big thing coming out was loss and damage uh, fund that was being announced that will be set up this year. All right, Sonal, thanks a lot for bringing us those updates from